Clay Thompson. What are you eating? What are you eating, man? Be professional. What are you eating? What are you eating? You can eat. You just want a title. You can do what you want. Popcorn? I can't hear you. Oh, you can't hear me. Hi, Clay. Scott, I can't hear you. You want me to yell? I can't. It... Okay, we're, we're, we're just wait, wait patiently. We're going to fix this here. Oh, is that Uncle Chaps? Wait, wait, hold on a second. Let me just. Oh, now I hear here we go. Now, What's oh, your budget on this more. show? I heard him for a second. You, you, you can hear me? This is great. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, this is great. It's live TV. You're just eating popcorn. You're going to. Have you had any of your champagne or beers yet? Because last year I felt like guys were kind of hammered, which was fun. No, man, not yet. I'm, I'm not a big champagne guy. I okay. cold Bud Lights, but um, I just feel great, Scott. It's good to be here. I can get used to this feeling. I, I bet. And look, you, you. this is where you all have existed for the past four years. And I, I, I wrote that everything I've written down to ask you guys is about just this baseline expectation. You guys are supposed to win. And so when, yeah. when you just meet the expectation, Mm -hmm. I, I, where, how do you draw the joy out of the process? I mean, where, where does oh, that man. live? Man, well, not only are we all elated and just so excited for what it, just winning an NBA championship three and four years it takes so much hard work. I don't think people realize that, the common fan, but there's also a, a, a feeling of relief, too. Just like you were talking about, the expectations can wear on you where, you know, you go throughout the uh, long 82-game season, you're expected to perform at such a high level every single night the last four years so that can wear on you and this was such a tough playoff run man from all the way back going to san antonio and that houston series was incredible too and even the Cavs, they didn't make it easy for us you know they could have had game one easily and um, game three was up for grabs too so that's why we pour champagne at each other because it's a long journey and, and i i understand all of that and i and i i think i can re i can relate to the idea that we don't get it and, and because you do wear a target and you clearly are mm -hmm. the team that everyone is is looking to knock off houston made a point of it daryl morey said we're, they're obsessed with beating you and and when you go back to that game seven on the road and they're you're down double digits and that place is on fire I, at, at any point clay it, along this road this year did you all ever have doubt creep in that, that you'd be in this situation uh, yeah, it's natural. I mean, it's human instinct to have a little doubt. We yep. went down 16 points in game six against Houston and uh, again in game seven. So it shows what our team's about, though. You know, we're never down and out. It could be a 25 point lead. It could be a five point lead. We can make that up and if we focus. We can make that up in no time. But it's just uh, the road is, ne you know, the road is never easy travel when you get to the NBA championship. I don't care who you play. Um, we're all playing great players, future Hall of Famers. And uh, it's just three and four years, I can't even, I, it's hard to fathom. I never would have guessed this my rookie year seven years ago. No, obviously things are a hell of a lot different now than they were then. But, but the thing about those deficits that you guys face is you have that gear, Clay. You in particular, when you get warm and your team gets warm, you can bury a team in five minutes. So d mm -hmm. does the knowledge that you can do that trump any doubt that ever creeps in? Because it seems like that's what you, you know it's in your back pocket no matter what. Yeah, no, I think so. We, not just myself, we got three guys who can get hot and, you know, make up a 15-point lead in a matter of a few minutes. Um, you saw what Kevin Durant did this postseason. You saw a step did come back from injury. And then myself, you got three guys who can get hot on an instant like a microwave. And then we got guys who just fill their roles so greatly. Uh, JaVale McGee, this man didn't play the whole Houston series, and you saw what he did uh, against the Cavs. The same with Sean Livingston. This man, I think he shot about 80% from the floor. Yep. David West. So we can, Andre Iguodala, I can go down the list. Draymond Green. Draymond does everything for us. It's the equivalent of scoring 40 points a night, what he does. He literally can get 5-5-5-5 five, 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 and five in every stat category. And uh, we just define our roles so well, and our chemistry is, I think, what puts us over the top, to be honest. Well, it, it obviously all adds up beautifully. And uh, throw those goggles on, enjoy your popcorn and whatever comes uh, the rest of this night. I appreciate your time. Oh, Congratulations. Another parade. I'm sure that never gets old, Clay. Enjoy. I can't it. wait. We can't wait to get back to the Bay and see all our beautiful fans. It's going to be an amazing day in Oakland around the lake again. And thanks for having me, Scott. So now it's time to go celebrate. Yep. Go get it. Thank you, Clay. <laughs> Sports Center on the Road is confidently presented by Rocket Mortgage by Quicken Loans. Much more on the champions and much more on Cleveland and LeBron. We'll see if we get any more clarity on banging his hand on a blackboard after game one, which you could understand and the impact that that uh, had the rest of the series. And clearly it didn't get old by the bay. Throw on a little Mighty Souls of Mischief, old school stuff.